friends, it's Heidi Voy, and today we're gonna learn about two really cool animals that live at Connecticut's Beardsley Zoo in Bridgeport. Take a look. Check out these red pandas. They can reach a size of 42 inches long, including their tail. They weigh between seven and 14 pounds, and they have a lifespan of about eight years in the wild or 15 years in a zoo. Red pandas are an endangered species, and they live in remote mountainous areas of dense forests like the mountains of Nepal and in central China. They spend most of their lives up in the trees. Red pandas have a taste for bamboo, but unlike their larger relatives, they eat many many other things as well, fruit, acorns, roots, and eggs. And similar to giant pandas, they have a modified wrist bone that acts like a thumb. While the red panda's scientific name means fire-colored cat, they actually have way more in common with bears and raccoons. Their soft, dense fur covers their entire body, including the soles of their feet. They use those long, bushy tails to balance when they're up in the trees and also to cover themselves in winter. Another animal that lives at the Beardsley Zoo is the Amur tiger, and the zoo has two of them, Rika and Zaya. Amur tigers can be nine to 12 feet long with an average weight of 400 to 650 pounds. These big cats have pale yellow-orange fur with a long fur coat to protect them in temperatures as low as 50 degrees below zero. All tigers have pale blackish stripes with a distinct pattern on their face that's as unique as a fingerprint. Males are generally one third larger than females. Amur tigers eat deer, wild boar, elk, bear, fish, rabbits, and birds. They're a critically endangered subspecies of tiger, but all tigers are endangered and protected worldwide. They live about 12 to 14 years in the wild and up to 25 years in captivity. Wow, those are some cool animals. We want to give a big thank you to the Beardsley Zoo for sharing that video with us and showing you all about red pandas and Amur tigers. You can check out all these animals virtually right now and be sure to give the Beardsley Zoo a visit when they open back up.